So here we have the 2450 source measure unit and the 2281S battery simulating power supply. What we want to do is generate a model of a AAA battery that we can use to then simulate the battery in the 2281S. Um, to create a model for this particular battery, we're going to use a test script on the 2450 source meter, which will slowly discharge the battery and record its characteristics. So to do that, well, we're hooked up at the moment, it's just a simple voltmeter reading 1.6, 1.57 volts. And the test script for our um, battery model requires four wire connection. Just need to hook in the sense wires. So our, our test script basically is going to discharge the battery at whatever current we tell it to and measure the open circuit voltage and um, kind of under load voltage to determine the ESR at various states of discharge. Okay, that should be us all set. So just run the script. Okay, so asking we want to use front or rear terminals, we're using front. Uh, tell me to make four wire connections to your battery. That's what we've just done. Measured battery voltage 1.574. Continue. Uh, we have the option of discharging via constant current or current list. The idea being that you can program it to discharge in a representative way to your actual application. You know, it could be, say, draws one milliamp for five minutes and then. 10 milliamps for a few seconds, then drops back to 1 milliamp, whatever. For, for our purposes, we'll just do a, a simple constant current discharge. Um, I'm going to be quite mean to this little battery. It's a AAA battery, um, 1000 milliamp hour capacity if discharged at um, 100 milliamps. It's around 500 milliamp hour if discharged at 500 milliamps. So. We don't want this to run forever, so I'm going to do it at uh, 500 milliamp bar. Uh, oh, sorry, 500 milliamps. And we're going to consider the battery discharged when it reaches, uh, it's gone for half supply. Um, so that's fair enough, around 800 millivolts. And how frequently do we want it to take an ESR measurement? So every couple of seconds sounds fine to me. Uh, not there's enough points. Yeah, no, that should be okay. And press OK to start the test. So that's it's running now. So it's testing. And you can see our, our uh, battery voltage dropped immediately because we're drawing quite a hefty current off it. And that will run for a while, drawing energy out of the battery, and then test the open circuit voltage, determine the ESR, and continue. So we'll just let that run for a bit, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Ok, so you can see our test has now completed, it's drained the battery down to what, 800 millivolts, and is asking do I want to save my model data to USB drive, which I absolutely do. Right. Uh, so what we'll call it... Uh, uh, uh. 500 milliamp. That'll do. Seven four and radio. Yes. Test complete. That's okay to finish. Okay. So we now have our model of our AAA battery 
stored on our USB drive. We should be able to use that on the 2281 now to simulate a AAA battery. Okay, so now we have our model on our USB stick. We can go into the battery simulation mode. Uh, loader model. Enter. Select to import. And here we can see all the files that are on my USB key. We'll pick AAA 500 milliamp, the one we just generated. And select where we want to put our put in storage one. Okay. And we should now go back to the home screen, be able to select uh, select which model we want to use. One AAA 500 milliamp. That's our model. Load that. We can see at 100% charge, it's sitting at 1.56 volts. If I I can change my simulation model to be dynamic or static, dynamic it'll behave like a real battery. As we draw current, it will discharge. Or I can go to static and set the um, the state of charge manually. So when state of charge uh, we'll say 20%. So 20% remaining our open circuit voltage is 1.1 volt. Our ESR is 0.268 ohms. So it's just mimicking what it has measured from that AAA battery. If I adjust my state of charge back up, say eighty uh, percent. Okay, you can see the ESR is reduced. The open circuit voltage has increased. It's just yeah, copying what the battery would do. Now, obviously, if we were testing. A particular device that had problems say when the battery reached 1.3 volts we can manually set our state of charge to constantly hold that and uh, let us test and debug the problem okay thanks for watching um, if you'd like further information on either of these products feel free to contact us or you can find data sheet on our website imex.co.uk thanks a lot